As requested in this video, let me show you the simplest uh, setup if you would like to do some recordings using your Focusrite audio interface with your Android devices. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things cables I will be needing in this setup. First of all, this is the uh, Focusrite. 2i2 third gen and this is the condenser microphone I will be using and I connected already the XLR uh, cable and I will be needing this one here this is just a Y splitter TRRS on one end and this is headphone microphone and headphone on the other end so it looks uh, like that now I will be needing two of these so this is uh, audio adapter 3.5 millimeter female to 6.35 millimeter male audio adapter and this uh, USB type A to C this normally comes when you buy or when you get a uh, focus right now I will need this one here this is just an earphone you can use a headphone if you would like and I will need this one. So again, I will be using this uh, device here. This is an Android phone. And this comes when I get uh, this, uh, this uh, Samsung phone. So this is an adapter, USB type C to uh, USB, something like that. Okay. And uh, so I will need one of these. This is TRS, the one that has two lines on both ends. So 3.5 millimeter TRS. And this one I will be using dual TS mono 6.35 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter jack. And from here, so this is the device I will be using as a source of my background music. I could have recorded to this uh, Android device, but since I ran out of space, I will just use this as my background source of my background music and I will do the recording into this iPad. You can do it reverse, you can record to your Android device and then your other device is the source of your background music. Let's start now the connections. Okay, so first let's connect this XLR cable. So again, this one is already connected to this uh, condenser microphone and uh, from here I'm going to connect right away this uh, dual TS mono I will connect one end to the back so there's two ends I'll connect it to here and I will connect the other end to where I will be recording. So again, I'll be recording it to this iPad. I could have recorded to this one here, but I ran out of the space. So for that, I will need this Y splitter. So from here, I'm just gonna connect this other end to the mic port of this one. So it's right there. And now the other end, I will connect to the headphone port of this iPad. So again, if you are, if you are recording to an Android device, you just connect this one to the headphone port, let's say for example, of this Android device. Okay, and now let's connect uh, the background music. So this is our background music. We'll use one of this uh, audio adapter. I'll connect it to mic port over here. I'm going to use this TRS, the one that has two lines, and I'll connect one end to here, to the mic two, and then I'll connect the other end to the headphone port of this uh, device. Okay, it's right there. And now I'm going to connect this earphone to monitor the audio. So I'll connect it from here for the headphone. And I'm just going to connect this earphone. Okay, so I'll connect this one to here. And then that's all ready. And now I'm going to connect this USB type A to C, USB type C to here. And the other end, I will connect to this device. And this is the device where I will be uh, getting the effects. And for that, again, as I mentioned earlier, this uh, adapter comes when I got this uh, Samsung. So I believe not all adapters works, so make sure you get the right one. Okay, so you connect one in there and we will connect this one to here. And by the way, I will be using BandLab application to get the effects, the voice effects. 
Okay, there you go. As you notice, I already opened the built-in camera of this uh, iPad. So same process if you will be uh, uh, recording it to your Android device. You can just open the built-in camera of that device and uh, the setup uh, should be the same. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, I will be using BandLab application to get the uh, vocal uh, the vocal effects and uh, by the way if you know of another applications that would give you vocals vocal effects you could perhaps use that uh, as well so this uh, band lab is is free application so that's why i used uh, this one and so the first setup this setup is ideal if uh, you are recording a podcast uh, type of thing and then if you want to let's say add a background music to it then this is the, I think the, the ideal uh, setup for you. From here, let me open this uh, BandLab application now from here. You tap the plus icon from here. Okay, something like that. And from here, you go to voice audio. And uh, from here, so we have track, track one over there. And uh, from here, you uh, tap the FX right here. And from here, it will give you different uh, vocal effects if you uh, if you tap that so what i'll do is uh, i'm just going to record over there so i can share to you the audio output okay i'm going to record now from here okay there you go what you're hearing right now that is now the recorded audio output from this uh, ipad over there so what i did on here uh, as to my uh, settings so again the mic to here this is uh, the source of the background music right there so i just turn on the inst right there and i turn on also the monitoring over there and for the mic i'm just going to set it to maybe maybe at 10 o'clock as I am not so close to this uh, microphone and the monitor so it's up to you this is what you hear the audio output is from here I'm just gonna set it maybe to maybe at 10 o'clock okay and I turn on the 48 volt phantom power because this microphone that I'm using is a condenser uh, microphone. Once you open the band lab, uh, there are some options here for your vocals effects or vocal mode, which you can select. Okay, so the first one is this is a punchy pop. And this is, uh, it says pastime. And this is uh, easy M Octaver. So there are quite a few on here. Okay, so that is Scotty Tone. So this is the next one. Sound check, that's the next one. Sound check. Testing one, two, sound check. So as you select over here, it gives you a different uh, audio output or vocal effects. So let's say, for example, you want to use this for podcasting purposes and you have your background music over there. So let's uh, play this one. And by the way, to control the volume of your background music is from the source of that uh, music or from here. Let's play this one. There you go. So if you think it's too loud, you can lower it from here and uh, you can also lower it from here okay so something like that okay so again this is uh, this is ideal for a pad casting type of thing because you can you can uh, you can select the vocal effects the preset vocal effects uh, from here plus the background music if you want to add that now for singing uh, purposes if this is your first time to use this uh, band lab it's actually a good a good one because you can select uh, different vocal modes and uh, you can play around with it and let's say for example Let's use, uh, okay, okay, I'm going to use Echo Doubler. Okay, there you go. So sound check, testing one, two. Sound, testing one, two. And you have some options also up here. Enhance tones, uh, modulate, pushed, amped vintage so quite a few uh, selections there uh, that you can use but anyway uh, for this uh, video i'm just going to select uh, vocals and i'm going to let's uh, select the okay let's select the echo doubler so from here if you want to add uh, effects more effects uh, to your vocals just uh, tap the uh, fx or tap this uh, two lines over here two parallel lines from here you can uh, change your low, mid, and high as so uh, to your preference. Something like that. Sound check. Testing one, two. 
Okay, and for the, if you press this one here, so there is, that is the Filter Echo Plus. So from here, you can still uh, change your uh, audio output for your vocals. So the mix, if you turn it up, sound check, testing one, two, and then your uh, time here, so that is to double your audio, sound, testing one, two, so something like that. And uh, the feedback, it's up to you how much feedback you want to use. And uh, if you want to add, there are effects that you can add. If you tap the plus right here, you can, maybe let me go back first and let me lower my time. There you go. So if you tap the plus over here, okay, I'm going to tap that. From here, you, there are some options here for you to add effects to your vocals. Okay, let's say, for example, I'm going to add Studio Reverb. Okay, there you go. So from here, you can, again, uh, maybe add more to your mix, sound check, and it will sound like that. And if you want to lower it, it sounds like that. And for the size, if you want to turn it up, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there you go. So again, there are quite a few options here if you want to play around with it and select the audio output as to your preference. Okay, let's uh, maybe uh, lower the size from here. And for the tone, let's say if we're going to lower it, it'll sound like that. Turn it up, it sounds like that. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna set it from there. Okay, let's go back to filter echo. Okay, so if we're going to turn the mix uh, more, okay, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, and now let's do a quick uh, sample to uh, record a song in this, uh, like setup like this uh, using this uh, iPad. And from here, as I showed you earlier, I selected the echo uh, doubler. And let's say, for example, I'm all set over here. This is the audio or vocals that I selected or preferred. Okay, I'm going to start the recording now. Stop now from here. And again, the simplest way is, is this way. So you open a built-in camera of your, of your iPad or Android and then hit record from there. And, and connection should be uh, the same. So that is all I can share for today. I hope this video gives you an idea on how to do your uh, recording using your Focusrite audio interface with your Android devices. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier, this is just a simple uh, setup. But again, the best recording using a BandLab is if you can record it into the band lab itself because you can do your edit, do your mix to have a better audio. But again, this is just a simple way. So at least you can get started recording with your Focusrite audio interface with uh, playing a background music. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please uh, give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you're always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.